Mm-hmm. And I, mad I love Katie Canary. Lots. I was mad Katie Lotz. Well, and Katie Lotz, they, they screwed that up with writing because <laughs> she was, I mean, she would have done it forever. And she's, I mean, I don't care if they didn't use the right name or for whatever reason they decided to kill her off as Canary, but Sarah Lance in that show but should have been Canary forever. They Gandalfed her. Well, she, they brought her back. They she, did. They did Gandalf her, yeah. Because she was something that was weaker and she came back something stronger in the White Canary and now she is the leader of her own team on a show that's I think is better than Arrow because I can actually sit and watch the whole thing. Well, but you, you, you've you never watched Arrow, like... I yeah. watched like part of season one. <laughs> you can't, but you can't sit there and say that it's better because I you haven't watched because it. Because it kept my attention, whereas Arrow did not. Because I'm like, oh my god, all these are like mopey white people with their white people problems. Oh my god, shut up! I don't care about your love interests. And that's one thing that kills me at the CW is all these romantic subplots. Like, well, and that's one thing that it. season five has gotten away from, fortunately, because they got. The new team. Well, they got the new and team and Ragman and, and Wild Dog and... Um, Vigilante. Oh. Or no. He's not on the team, though. Well, Spartan, well, which is, you know, the, the character they Diggle, which mm-hmm. they created. Um, but, you know, Flashpoint affected Arrow and... <laughs> a little bit. Well, it gave Diggle a son instead of a daughter who they think will be turned into Connor Hawk and yeah. become... The well, new Green Arrow. The new Green Arrow. he yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, Arrow season five is awesome. I mean, it's good. It's it, they've gotten away from all that that romantic bullshit that that plagued two seasons worth, three seasons worth of Arrow, and it's a it's a miracle that it didn't die because of that. Because people were just fed up with Felicity, and Emily Brett Records is a beautiful girl, but my God, man, she's had enough screen time to call it her own show. I mean, it could be Felicity. That could seriously have been the name of the show for three seasons. Well, there was already a show called Felicity. Well, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> but out of, out of Arrow, we get Ray Palmer who, in Legends. I mean, obviously, he was a character in Arrow before. That would before. be Brandon yeah. Ruth's, uh, ironically, yet another story of DC saving a Marvel Oh, my God. Person. Did you guys... Marvel. He, he was, was Superman. Superman. No. Brandon Ruth not was Brandon Ruth. Yeah, that, that, what I mean is DC saving him from a, a shitty first start. Because he who was Superman and... About? Oh, like, like Ben Affleck? Yeah, like becoming, he was in a bad Daredevil movie. Daredevil. Now, he's, and now he's Batman. Batman. Now he's gonna the make his own Batman movie. Batman. Okay, is that on or off? Because I've it's been on, then it's been off, then it's been on. Because he can't. It's the script. which news articles are you reading? I've read like four or five. You're and... not reading the right ones. The only person you need to talk to about that is Ben Affleck. Because Ben Affleck, he's writing it. He's going to direct it. And oh, yeah. He did an interview, and of course, people will get on the internet and write whatever the fuck they want to write because they have nothing better to do with their lives. And it... I gotta breathe. Sorry. All right. Well, I'm gonna take this moment of silence to jump in. And yes, Legends of Tomorrow. It has shit like a... makes me angry, dude. Oh, oh my, my god. god. We're still on this. Okay. Go. Sweet. So, Legends of Tomorrow. Uh, James, you were iffy about the first season. Yeah, I didn't like the first season overall. I mean, I was it, okay with it. Did you like it or did you not like it? I would have to have said I didn't like it, but season two. It's good. It's crazy as shit, and it oh, doesn't make two, any they're... fucking sense. But but that's it's why good. it's great. Like I love the time travel. I mean, time travel. Just yeah, never zombie makes sense. confederates and yeah. you know all kinds of crazy <laughs> shit. I happen to think with Legends, my favorite character is probably Martin Stein. You know that's that's interesting. I don't think a lot of people would say Martin Stein who was played Jennifer character. Garner's dad in Alias, yeah. and he was that douchebag in Legally Blonde. Yeah, I haven't seen that one. Anyway, what? uh. <laughs> anyways no i i like him just because the episode that delves a little into his backstory when they go back in time is that it's something they have to get that he made in the past yeah 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 i, I, I really like, like that episode. like in college or something yeah and just to see but he ends fucking... up having a daughter because of it that he doesn't remember. yeah yep. yeah and he's a, a super hippie which was hilarious to me smoking weed and i <sighs> just i loved it i loved the aspect of him just getting to see him's past self because I think as far as I know he's the only one who has I think I think that was just kind of well he's the oldest out of all of them so if they ever saw their past selves they would either have they would have to be babies but with Martin Stein it was such a really weird moment for him because he looks at this college kid and he's like what a little asshole (laughs) he does he comments about these like I was a fucking asshole he's like I was such a terrible person and I really like how he gets his own character growth by literally looking at himself 
which I wish that we could do sometimes. Oh, yeah. I wish the people that would say that is the Batman movie on or off could look at themselves sometimes in the mirror and just say, why am I believing what look I'm reading what on the started, internet? Cody. Look what you did. No, it's not you, though. It's not you, Cody. I'm just saying, like... No, but he brought it up. Man, okay, so Ben Affleck has already <sighs> said that it's on. And it's yeah. going to be on. And that they're delaying shooting because they don't feel like shooting in the middle of winter. Yeah. And so well, they're going to start shooting, and I think they're going to use Chicago, the, which is fine. I think which is where that is what Did Nolan they, used. Yeah, Nolan used well, Chicago, so I think well, he said I mean, that they're going to use Chicago. I think they're going to use Chicago. Well, the the big reason why it would have been off, from my understanding, was he was it was something with the script because he's a bit done. of a perfectionist. But I had he wrote it, it with Jeff Johns. I had heard it wasn't done yet. It's but. done. When they're, I'm telling you, man, it's it's. Dude, I'm a conspiracy theorist anyway. It's a conspiracy theory from that amazing and wonderful company called Disney that is awesome and <laughs> doesn't control the world. Because it doesn't, I oh swear, it doesn't control the world. <laughs> anyway. Back to Legends. I would have to say my favorite character is probably White Canary. I love Katie Lotz. Mm, Katie Lotz. And watching her beat the hell out of people yeah, episode buddy. after episode mm. is just such a mm, treat. Mm, mm. She can beat the hell out of me. And I, I like... Specific the, part, I'm sure. <laughs> my face. <laughs> I like the look of Hot Girl. I liked how she looked when she was <clears throat> dressed up. When she had I, Miley Cyrus mouth? Or it wouldn't close. It wouldn't close whenever she would just stand there. <laughs> oh, I remember that. Miley mouth. <laughs> no, her outfit is really cool. Though. I just didn't it's like really the way well they done. portrayed her. They made her really weak and unsure of herself, and that's not hot girl at all. Yeah, but she was just finding herself though too. Well, yeah, because season mm-hmm. one focused a lot on her and Carter. Well, that was the first episode. If I remember, first or second one with her and Carter. Was, well, they focused the... a little bit. Well, they had to because the big bad of season one is Vandal, Vandal Savage. Savage. And, and this... Which was so good because it took the entire season to, to, to come to an end. Instead of the disposable enemy number one, disposable enemy number two. I like that two. actually a lot. Yeah, no, it was good. They, it had purpose. That whole season had purpose. Yeah, it was. It was and I like that their and the, the season actor two was doing played the same Vandal thing. Savage was really cool. And... Season two is doing the same thing, man. With the Legion with of Legend, Doom. yeah, with oh, Legion, of, Legion Doom. of Doom. Oh, it's right. so good, so good. And that's we what we haven't met many members. I mean, we know Was it Eobard. Maxwell Lord in the Legion of Doom. I have no idea. But we, we've met Eobard. We've met uh, um, Damian Dark. Damian Dark, and we met Malcolm Merlin. That's right. Merlin's a part of it too. So is that going to be another? Do we think that's going to be another all series crossover again, like Invasion? No, it'll yeah, be right. it'll be a le- it'll be just a legends thing, yeah. Although they've said that who the dark or the black flash or black, black racer flash, yeah. or whatever his the name is going to he's yeah. going to cross over to multiple Show. shows. Yeah, so that'll be interesting to see how they do that. Well, they're they're talking about like is Teddy Sears going to come back? It's like no, probably doesn't have to. Black Flash is he looks jankety, man. You don't have CGI. you don't have to hire he's him. He's completely yeah. CGI. There's no he's need. like a skeleton. Now. Not that Teddy Sears is a bad car- a bad actor. Like that's nothing against Teddy Sears, but no, but you don't but, need to you don't need to no. put his face in there to just you know make it up or you know do CGI over it or whatever. And I'm okay that they're bringing back Black Flash. Like I want that to happen because he's basically death in the DC universe. He's like death for all. Speedsters, or but he can, mm-hmm. he doesn't attached. have to just attack speedsters though, because he is a personification of death. Yeah, he can kill anybody. So does that mean that we're gonna have to go through another section of the Flash where he's complaining he's not fast enough? No, it'll be it'll be individual episodes that he he gets this huge bad guy and he easily defeats him by running through some mirrors. I hate the Flash so much. Mirrors. Are you talking about Mirror Master? Yes, that Mirror Master episode oh, where yeah. he just set up some mirrors that looked into each other. Yeah. It's like, mm, 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 mm. Yeah. The Flash wastes so much. So much. And it gets all this acclaim and, and just praise for being the best comic show on TV. And I'm going, what are they watching? Not Supergirl. 
no, obviously, because they give <laughs> they give freaking Warblers Flash a freaking ninety eight percent on you know IMDb or whatever, and they give Supergirl like a sixty seven percent because they don't they like easy digestible thirty minute chunks of and of information. A lot of people don't take Supergirl seriously because you know she's a girl. I mean that's just the kind of world we live in. I'm not saying yeah, that's, that's everybody's opinion, but a lot of people would just you know they would have they would look at her and think oh she's a poppy little cheerleader. I did that. Yeah, but then you gave it a shot and you're proving how wrong you were. Hey, I admitted that. You don't need to keep repeating that I'm wrong, man. But I'm just saying, people can change. They can be educated and they can change for the better. Can Greg Berlani be educated and change and make Flash relevant and good? Well, you can accomplish anything with a couple hours in a car battery. Stop is your main villain. Well, they don't have to. That's the thing, is that every season it's a major speedster. And it doesn't make any sense, well, man. And they're just like, and they scrape the bottom of the, the barrel Grodd. with. For how many episodes, I don't dude? No, they already had Gorilla Grodd, and it's not. It's not. Oh, is it Grodd season, or is it season three, part two? Is Grodd, isn't it? Yeah, it's okay. Gorilla Grodd. For, are they going to do ten episodes of it? I don't. I don't know. Hopefully, I'm just saying. I don't because Grodd could seriously mess him up. Savitar's still there, but they already messed up Grodd's origin. Well. They kind of mess up his origin, but the fact that he's not a hyper intelligent gorilla, he is though. Kind of, but he, he really talks like. You know what I want to see is really... I want to see him standing on top of a building and him fighting, you know, Arrow or Flash or something, and they go, "I recognize that voice." Whenever he's got mind control over something, like in uh, the Batman yeah, Superman Public Enemies, Public Enemies, they're like, uh... I, well, "I mean, but that was Batman." He's like, "I recognize that speech pattern." Well, then have yeah. Oliver Queen do it. Or something, or even have Grant Gustin say something like that. Like, I recognize that speech pattern. And, and it's Grodd mind controlling a bad guy. But he didn't really. Well, he had telepathy, See, and that's but not the necessarily problem. mind control. Well, well, we'll get more into this because our time's about up. Mm-hmm. So, uh, signing off real quick. I'm Cody. I'm Kalen. I'm James. And we will see you on Friday? Friday. Yep, Friday.